simpler song than, uh, than Nana. It's mostly um, uh, groups of four chords going over four measures. Uh, pretty straight ahead uh, arrangement. The only tricky part is really in the bridge. Um, but there's also some weird chord voicings under the verses and choruses. Uh, I'm going to be trying to play it on keyboards, so uh, I might be able to grab some of those, but uh, I'm going to be real busy, so Hopefully some of the other uh, cats will take it too. It starts off with the intro that is, uh, the root notes are very straight ahead. It's just a B to an A to an E to a, a B, but hopefully it'd be, it'd be B7. Um, and I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully there'll be some, you know, just kind of like swirly, you know, stuff on the cymbals and, and things like that, and, and uh, hopefully people uh, double me in the background, um, providing a blanket of sound. A quick word about the bass, um, because everybody's playing their own instrument, and everybody can do whatever they want. I kind of, just when I guess I was recording it, I was doing all the instruments, and I wound up with kind of a pretty busy uh, bass line. I just tend to kind of uh, favor those. Um, <clears throat> and some, some of the stuff I'm actually going to lift, and uh, try and play on the keyboards as melody lines and things. But uh, on the intro with the F sharp, with the F sharp A to E to D, uh, B thing. Uh, it sounded like I was, <laughs> this is made the thing two years ago, so I'm starting to figure out what I was doing. But uh, it's, it's mostly just in that chromatic bit, uh, starting on the uh, F sharp up here in the uh, ninth fret on the A string. This is the A, uh, the B, um, throw in some odd C sharps in there, and it ended up on this uh, higher F sharp. And then, yeah, it actually slides up, up to the 13th fret. But it's all just like these little whole step uh, <coughs> pentatonic uh, things. comes in, the chords are, uh, uh, I think we showed you in practice, uh, you got a F sharp minor 7, a uh, little Pink Floyd kind of funk chord thing, and uh, this one's kind of tricky, I'll probably tab this out, and then uh, I'll cut in the tab, but it's a, this is an F sharp minor 6, uh, it's actually a voicing they tell you not to use, but I like it, and uh, it's, it's <clears throat> the idea is that you're taking this same chord, uh, the F sharp minor 7, and the only thing you're doing different is you take this note, the note that's on the G string, and you move it down a, a fret. But in order to do that, you have to change all your fingers of your other um, uh, other fingers because you're barring the F sharp minor seven, and now you can't do that anymore. So. Sharp minor seven. And then, uh, and I seem to be just be finding myself barring still, but even though I was just still playing one note on the bar fret, um, it's actually ninth fret A string. 11th fret D string, uh, 8th fret G string, it's hard to make that ring out, and the uh, B string 10th fret. And then the next chord is a C, uh, C9 with the added 9th, but no 7. And that's going to be, it's basically like your regular 8 chord, like this. Now let me show you that, that earlier chord. It looks like this. I say I'll tab it out. And then the uh, uh, C is going to be an open C like that. You actually bar in the whole thing. Uh, but you move your pinky up two frets. And I've learned that's that's a really hard one to fret when you're standing up. 
because when you're standing up, your wrist is just so, and you got a lot of stretch. Um, uh, and uh, E minor, just E minor, barring on a 12th uh, fret. And it's, it's got a little, just a little pickup on the F minor. It's a walk, it's basically a walk up, uh, chromatic walk up leading in, sort of a leading tone to go back into the beginning of the, of the uh, chord progression. One of the tricks that I'm using there uh, is to hit the it hit you hit the the root note of each chord before you actually strike the chord. And that gives the rest of your fingers a chance to kind of find these uh, kind of more complicated fingers.